Hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, I'm Courtney. This is Lucas. Hello, everybody. And what are we talking about today? We are looking at how to develop and make your brand stand out on social media. Let's talk about Using it. our favorite tool, Adobe Express. We love Adobe Express. <laughs> but we're also going to be working in some um, Firefly, so Adobe Firefly. Tell me about to Adobe also Firefly. be creating. Yeah, so Adobe Firefly um, is Adobe's AI tool, generative AI tool that mm -hmm. has tons of features, many of them also used in Express that I personally love to use. So text to image, generative fill, text effects, you see them all on screen. Um, but I'm going to be using Firefly in itself on, on the Firefly web browser to create some elements and to match some elements to my pre-existing brand um, to create some social media content. Awesome. So what we're going to be working with today is my friend VJ and I, Vishal, we recently launched a podcast together. It is called Creator Juice, as you can see from the brand here. And it's, <laughs> so cool. it's all about given that creative inspiration and motivation that people need, almost like that, you know, on a, I'm a school teacher, so I think about that day of like, you're tired, you're exhausted. I'm thinking about when I was a student and you have that juice box in your lunch bag and you just drink that juice box in one gulp and you get that, you get what you needed, you get mm -hmm. that energy. We wanna give that with like the, cre the creative flow that people have, so. Yeah, a boost. Yeah, so what we did with that brand, and I have the brand kit that I've, I've loaded yes. here into Adobe Express, um, which is something I'm gonna talk about is we really have this fun, colorful, retro branding. Nice. We're both big um, video game players. It's giving um, 80s video it, games It is, sure. it is. Are you, are you a gamer? Have you ever had any? I grew yep. up on games. I played a little, yeah. little yeah. Nintendo, little Super Mario, little Sonic. Yeah, you know? same here. So I was always a huge like Pokemon fan, my old yes. Game Boy going through there. Oh my gosh, I was just playing Tetris on my phone this morning. I take it back. <laughs> it's never a bad time to have that. Just <laughs> load it into your apps. Uh, so we wanted to design that as, as a lot of the brand. Um, the thing yes. is though, uh, Vishal, VJ, he's the designer. Nice. He's the designer on our team. Um, and a lot of the graphics we use, he's either designed for us in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. He's made some really cool Adobe Illustrator um, templates nice. uh, for carousel posts. So carousels being, and again, I, I'm, I'm going to cut myself off for a huge disclaimer. We both love social media, we Courtney do. and I. Uh, so cut us off with any social media questions you have throughout Please the session. Do. We're going to both try to make it nice and also relevant for that. Mm -hmm. um, but those swipeable carousel posts, right? Mm -hmm. I love those. Um, you can really pack in so much info for those. But he's really the one who knows how to have that really good design flow. Yeah. Yeah. So he's made some really cool templates. I'm not going to work with them today. I'll show some different content that I'll be making. Mm -hmm. um, but all the stuff that he's put into Illustrator, we can seamlessly put into Express and import and use, which has been really fun. Cool. Um, but what we're looking at today, the use case is, what if I need a graphic um, and you know, VJ's busy. He's at work. He's got his full-time <laughs> marketing gig. Right. He can't do the design for me. And I either need to make some mock-ups that he's going to go back in and work with mm -hmm. and actually design. Um, I think AI is really useful for that. Wow. You know, me doing like that placeholder, me working on that ideation of, okay, here's what I want it to look like. You go design the elements. You do your thing. Exactly. I'll do the social media part of it. Um, so we're going to work with that today. So exactly. just to show, um, again, looking in the brand kit, if I were to put in like an example of our podcast art, and I'm actually going to, I want this to be a square just to start. We're gonna be using, I know we used resize quite a bit, you and yeah. I. Um, Courtney being a superstar, using mobile to do so many things. Mm -hmm. I'm actually, dare I say, excited for my six hour uh, plane ride because I'm gonna I'm gonna be on Adobe Express doing some mobile work. Get okay. it, get it. You I can work offline and save your projects yeah. offline as well. I don't like having the laptop. I'm I'm a taller individual. I don't like being <laughs> cramped, and I think I have a middle seat for six hours. Oh Lord, yes! Don't uh, pull out that laptop. Stay <laughs> so on the phone. Stay I'll be on the phone designing. Space. Shout out Ruben. Hey Ruben. What's up? He said Adobe Bro in the house. The Adobe Bros. We made up this. The Adobe Bros. <laughs> at Adobe Max, we made up this completely <laughs> not endorsed by Adobe. We made this up. It's just. Oh my gosh, that's what it's for. The, we call ourselves the Adobe Bros. I love it. I'm sure Adobe would love it as well. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to make this a square because resizing is something I'm going to use a ton today. Um, I love how you can always duplicate and make two files. Don't don't lose your original. Don't lose the original. In this case, I'm, since it's just a blank, I'm going to go ahead and just resize it. And this is just going to be our typical podcast art. It's this already been designed. Oh, so cool. It's a lot of fun. It's I really cool. I remember that controller, that Nintendo yeah, controller. Yeah, yeah. I played a, on that. <laughs> there's some very fun stuff in there. I liked it when there were fewer buttons like this. Yeah. <laughs> and because he's loaded in this kit for me, I'm going to go ahead and let's pop me in there. Nice, there look I go. at you. I got my shoes and everything. He really put a lot of work into uh, making it look and feel like us. Oh, he's great. And so what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add these elements and create this. 
But what I'm going to be using Firefly for in a moment is I'm going to match the style of this image to the new stuff I generate. So I'm going to use something called Style Match, which I'll give a brief little sneak peek. This is something we're going to look at later. But just so we know where we're going, this uh, Style Match feature lets you upload your image and it studies what you're giving to it. Wow. It does the rest of its AI thing that I'm, I don't know all the workings of what's going on, right? Um, right. And it's going to create some awesome elements that match and look the feel that I'm trying to go with, which is what I love. So I'm going to quickly just um, finish making this one as our starting point. Let's get our avatar of Vishal in there too. Nice. He always, Vishal. He always jokes that, there, he's a little bit shorter than me, so I'm going to, uh -uh. there's him. <laughs> so this is true to say. <laughs> He's going to watch this and... He's like, I'm not that tall. <laughs> <laughs> well, he always jokes. He's like, I made our characters the same height, but we're not. And I was like, that's okay. That's okay. I love it. It's advertising. Yeah. We're superheroes. Here we go. Love so I'm going to make us look a little bit... I don't know about you, but my favorite effect in um, Express is these duotone effects. Show me the duotones. Right? What do you do with the duotones? So I love that. If anybody wants to make something look very cool, whether it's an image, with, I love this for Instagram stories. I know we chatted Instagram stories and earlier. And for your style in particular, yes. I think duotone is really great. Yes, right? Because I'm, I'm thinking of this as like, I want this to look like a power up. Like you're loading in the video game screen and this is just yes. what's flashing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a duplicate of myself and VJ. So I just did that. It was some shortcuts. That's oh yeah, what's the shortcut? Oh wow. So I'm just doing Command C, Command V. And there's me, there's there's a me behind me, just so offset. This is my favorite effect to do. You just double yourself, double the image, oh, so uh, with a transparent background. You can yes. remove the background, but this one I already did. Um, and on the back layer, I'm gonna go to these effects, and now I have like a little glowing power up aura to me. I like that. This is such a cool <laughs> design effect. It's so popular, and you can do it so easily in Adobe it's, Express. It's so easy to do. So I'm doing the same for. Um, VJ's avatar. Normally what I'll even do is I'll count how many clicks I do. Or mm -hmm. taps. I heard that one's okay. Yeah. I don't know if I did it. Um, he's a little bit, there we go. Now we're about the same distance and I'm gonna apply a power up effect to him. These, I love these because you get so much out of them that for an image that isn't like a, an element you can recolor automatically. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the icons in here and the shapes, like I know we looked at and yours and getting really creative with those shapes and covering things up that you don't want. Yep. Um, you can't do that with a lot of photos and elements, right? Nope. But these duotone effects, you can even do custom ones, um, let you really Yeah, I've had some fun in that one. Own. I've had that some real fun mm -hmm. in those tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep them the same as me. And we got our little power up there. So nice. something I might do is, let me make sure I have me and him highlighted. and. Something fairly new in Adobe Express is they have like the, the layer bar here. Yeah, so really layer just bar. See what you're working with and making sure you have it selected. That's very important in this case because I always accidentally select like the yeah. foreground image. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's make it like we're going to do a lot of animation stuff today. I should mention we're going to make. Uh, you the animations are pretty new to Express, and yes. I see there's more coming soon. There's, so there's they're still coming. working. The team is working on it. The options are so fun too, um, and as you mentioned, like attention spans are so short, they're so and short. the feed real estate and showing up on it is something you need to capitalize on. You have to capture people's attention. So I like this as like a you know power up like is like an aura kind of behind you. So I, I like blinking or uh, pulsing. Pulsing I like to like <gasps> pop in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some fun ones. We got yo-yo. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Oh, that's so fun. Wiggle. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do something really fun with spin later. So don't... Spin looks really fun here, but not not for the situation. I'm going to do blinking. And the really cool thing um, that I love is... there's. Uh, first of all, I love the word personality for an animation. I love it. But we can work with just different kind of pacing of the animation. Uh, we can work with the speed, have it super fast. Right? Oh my goodness. Wait, I'm just I'm just discovering all mm -hmm. of this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now this isn't on mobile yet. This is just on desktop. I believe. Yeah. 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 <gasps> Guys, so, this is huge. This is huge. The stuff you can do. I'm gonna I'm gonna if if the animations are exciting now, just wait. Just I'm see, there's really more coming. Stuff. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And there we go. I might loop this. I think I did blinking. I can't wait to get home and design some more. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there we go. I know I set the speed different, so normally I would make them the same. But just to show that. Now, how long of a duration can you get on this? I can stretch that. Um, I've done I've done minutes. Like so Wow, I know, you guys. Right, I know we chatted earlier about mobile only. Mobile is only 15 seconds per frame, but this, get hop on desktop, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
I do my, we're not gonna show it today, but I do my captions for my video, my, uh, my Instagram Reels in Express now and like have that popping up element. You can edit it. There's so many, so many fun things you Guys, can do. Guys, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. So what I'm gonna take with this is, I know it's, it's designed as a video, but I'm gonna just take it actually as a PNG um, mm -hmm. because I'm gonna use this as, and I know my animations won't, won't wear it because it's not a video, but I actually, just, I actually just designed this to be my reference and that's all I want from it. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's just save it to my downloads. Um, podcast I was just gonna ask cover. you why a PNG over a JPEG, why you prefer, but it ha I love how Adobe Express has it and it tells yeah. you when you're, go to that. when you're choosing what style of download, it's telling you why best for image. That's, I've, I've actually sharp. never tuned into that, but that's so huge. Like, because mm -hmm. you scared me for a second when you, I, I thought you were gonna put me on the spot and be like, why are you using a PNG? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but Adobe Express already has it. They're like, this is what this is best for. It does help me, right? So, so like I said, Express is such a low barrier for entry. It really is. Oh my goodness. So what I've done is I've downloaded this image because I'm gonna use it as a reference. Um, and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make something new. This is what, you know, VJ's worked with, what he's designed. I want. I have this vision for this new social media feed post mm -hmm. that I think we can start using again, like a video game launch screen. But okay. I think it can be more that more immersive into that experience. And whether I'm going to just design the mock-up today and he's going to work with it and and you create the elements for it, mm -hmm. um, or we're going to use this. Um, I should say I'm going to be using Firefly Model Two. Um, which as a disclaimer, I believe it's not available for commercial usage yet. Um, that's Model 2 is is what we're going to be using. These um, are the benefits of being an Adobe yes. ambassador. You get a little extra. Sorry, Image 2. Image 2 right here. Mm -hmm. um, so we wouldn't use these commercially until it's something we're able to do. Um, but again, this is amazing for mock-ups. Right? Yeah. This is amazing for social media content. So smart. So I'm going to go ahead, and we talked about this earlier. Um, we love the social media optimization here. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make a new page, but I want it to be our favorite portrait. Yes. I want it to be 1080 by 1350. There you go. And that is my favorite size, as we mentioned, for showing up on the feed, taking that real estate. Take up the real estate, folks. And like we said, if you have social media questions, ask them in the chat even. Like, yes, questions or yeah. tips. As we mentioned mm -hmm. in my stream earlier, we get tips from experience, from yes. life. So if you've got them, teach us something today. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions for Lucas, drop them in the chat. So I'm gonna go to the opening here of Firefly. And I love using AI. I particularly love using AI live because you never know what you're gonna get. It's I fun, know. right? It's so fun. Um, and I'll, I'll show some cool features that work within Firefly that also I don't know about you, but whenever I use AI, I get, I get scared that like, I get this perfect generation of something mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna get it back. Like, Oh wow, I've, so I've you're like, it. I have to save everything. Right. Well, favorites up here I'm gonna use in a second and you'll see that I've actually favorite. saved a lot of the stuff we're gonna be using today. This is incredible. Just there Looks already. Looks like Zelda. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that, that's, so that's really the vibe we're looking for. So I'm glad you said that. Perfect. I'm gonna go for a 16-bit, um, what are we looking for? Video game. I want it to be like an upgrade disc. Like in video games, what you get is you might um, you might find this like disc that, you know, whether it's like a more sci-fi futuristic game, mm -hmm. you find this upgrade disc that gives you like a new skill or a new power up. I love that. I want the podcast to feel like that new power up. I love your where your head is at specifically and how you're thinking about the content. And I really encourage you all out there to do the same mm -hmm. thing. Like you're trying to make it a gamification experience. Yes. And that's, first of all, hugely on trend right now, especially oh, yeah. if you're trying to reach younger generations. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's a real strategy in gamifying your social media and making yes. it fun, making it interactive, making it discoverable. I, I And I, I personally love templates. Um, love but, templates. I, but just a warning I give with templates is, and I use templates, I always use them as a starting point. Absolutely. Anything I'm sharing today started as a template or VJ made it, right? But. Um, with templates, you also do risk seeing a lot of the same stuff. So like you said, gamify it, make it your own, mm -hmm. add your own spins, which I think you did really well um, when on our session previously mm -hmm. with the brands you've worked with. Thank you. And again, go watch that replay, everybody, because... There were, good, there, there were some good tips in there. We were if, giving out game. For the hashtag tip alone, people need to go back people and watch need that. To, oh my gosh, seriously. Wait, we have a really good question from Linton. Do you yes. guys use a lot of AI for social media? For example, I think a friend of mine used AI to write captions at some point. You know yes, I mean? so um, there is a lot of use cases for AI and it, it's just, it's around us everywhere. And mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's possible to avoid using it once you've started using it. Mm -hmm. um, I always do find it's really important to add your own brand voice That's to things. Um, but for the example of caption writing, copywriting even for my carousels, my swipeable posts, I, I love to use it. 
And I love to use it too. Yeah. I think though, what I've noticed from the last campaign that I've run, because we're all using it, I, oh. I caution, especially like chat GPT in particular, mm -hmm. if you're writing captions for social media, I like to use it as a jumping off point, mm -hmm. like an inspiration. Like you can literally type in a prompt into chat GPT and be like, write me a caption for social media that's fun and expressive, that encourages people to go to this site. And this is like, you can, you can basically take yes. your brain and say, hey, start me off with something. And then you make yep. it unique to your brand. Because what I noticed was, a lot of ads that came out around the time that I was doing this campaign in the fall and the winter, yep. they were using the same language. Oh, yes. Because yes. AI was generating <laughs> the same language for everybody. And instead of, you know, customizing it past that point, I noticed that there were a lot of the same buzzwords from different mm -hmm. brands. And I was able to identify, you're using ChatGPT to write this. Like, <laughs> pretty much any brand that's like, unlock this or it, it, it was giving the yes. same prompts. So just, I would recommend. Being able to master prompts is a skill in itself. It right? really As I'm, is. I, it's, it is for this case too. Um, I would say just to don't forget it. to customize and make mm -hmm. it unique for your brand because AI, if we're all using it, it's not generating a bunch of unique things for all of the millions of people in the world. It's simply not. So just make sure, I would use it more as a jumping off point, especially for caption writing, mm -hmm. as opposed to just taking what it spits out to you and putting it out and there. And putting it on the page. Yeah. And, and that actually really lends well to how we're using it here in Firefly, exactly. which is the style match. Um, and Linton asking, um, or sorry, uh, Robert mentioning that they like number two. I, I like number two as well. That's a good one. Let me know in the chat. Uh, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite? I, I don't like know which two. one I have. I like too because it's the purple that's giving it a little yes. bit of extra warmth, and while it's in the third picture, it's more prevalent in the second. Yes, one. and and on that note, I I'm actually looking for something. I didn't tell it right because knowing the prompts is a whole world in itself. Mm -hmm. I want it to look like three. Oh, Robert it just gave me that number four now. Oh, very cool. I could see why we're into number four. Number four is like an old like cassette player. It's kind of fun. But right? wait, before we decide just what we like, mm -hmm. what's going on top of this, or how is it going to be used? Yeah, so that's that's it. So this is actually going to be a background. This oh. is this is going to be a background image, which is why I'm leaning towards three. And I'm because, but it, I, Firefly doesn't know that. I didn't tell it that, right? Right. Maybe I'm not as good as I should be at writing prompts. But so I see it, more negative space mm -hmm. where you're going to be able to yes. use. So it's like, again, you guys, like, there's things that we like. There's things that are, you know, as creatives, we decide this is the best thing. Mm -hmm. But we really got to think about what's the <laughs> end goal here. What's and, that's, gonna... and that's where style match comes in key. Yeah. Because remember that image I did earlier, podcast mm -hmm. cover? Mm -hmm. All I did was I clicked upload your image. It's going to check that I can use it. Um, but all I did was click right oh, here. Oh, it's checking that uses, mm -hmm. like usage and license. I love that. That protects the artist. I yes. appreciate that. And look at it now in the bottom. It's right here. It's loaded okay. in here as my style reference. I know we can't see it because of the screen there. Uh -huh. But it's loaded as my style reference. Because I like the that's expansive great. video game world of how this little image looks. And that's why three leaned towards what I was looking for. But mm -hmm. I want all four to look that way. So, so I'm going to click. Damage. Now that I have my style reference in, in Firefly, I'm going to click Generate. And it's going to basically, and I'll show what some of these features on the right can do for us to also modify it. I can't um, wait to try this. this it's so, so much cool. fun. It, it, it is just fun, like I said, for ideation. And, and there's the world I was looking for. There's the world! <laughs> so that is, now Now I would love to hear what your favorites are. Now tell um, us. One, one, yeah, sorry, go ahead. One, two, three, or four. Yeah, Which one, two, three, or four. And, and, and I, should, I should say, what I'm, what I'm envisioning here is I'm going to use the, mod, the avatars of VJ and I again. We're going to be standing on each side. Okay. Right? I'm, I'm going to give away my favorite by using my mouse too much. <laughs> I see. But, so, I like number two. Yeah. yeah there we go. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting our avatars here. I want the headline, that call to action that is so important in social media right here. Yes. And I want to have a big spinning um, CD in the air to kind of feel like Animation's a like Animation's coming, you guys. Yeah. It's coming. So I could do some things. Like I could reduce the visual intensity. I could reduce what's going on here, the strength. Um, and again, it tells you what, what it does. So it's just the overall intensity of your photo's existing characteristics. Wait, it is move the, the bar. I want to see what yeah, that visual intensity is. Let's go does. back. And I'm going to generate a new one. And you can just keep going. But you can favorite the ones that you like yes. that they've already generated. Yes, which I did. I have some favorited. OK, Clever Devlin had liked number three. Oh, okay. number three is very good, too. It is, it is, it So, is. And you can see we did. So see how the visual it intensity hands. did change? It's less. Um, less of the pixel image yeah. going on here, right? Which is very cool. Oh, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. And you love, I, I actually really like two now. 
Okay, right, Robert's is, saying number four. Number four. And I, I think everyone's got the same idea of, I love how the platform is focused here. Yeah. Um, so I can go ahead and add it to my favorites. But I love the variety mm -hmm. of options and the little differences. You see the hands in the first we one. We always love AI with hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's my favorite designer one day. meme. <laughs> one day they're going to get it. One day. And that's the fun thing about the options it gives. It gives so many to work with. And in terms of ideation, like I said, my, my end goal might not be to use, it probably isn't to use this graphic, right? Wow. It is to, but I I'm, I'm seeing, I love the, the holding of this, of the disc. Exactly. The so I might say, hey, VJ, I know we're not gonna use this one. The hands are a little off. Can you work with this and design something that looks like this? Boom, and AI giving us ideas. Which is a lot better than if you look at my pencil sketches here. Oh a my lot, gosh, I love this flow. stick people here. So. That's such a good flow, <laughs> I love it. Right, so Robert's, let's go ahead. Robert's saying he still likes number four. Number four, yes, number, number two and number four exactly what I'm looking for. Um, what I can do here is I can download it. I can copy a link to it to share to him. I can copy the image. I can edit it directly in <gasps> Express. That's an which option is, where you can just jump right into Adobe Express. Which, it just imports it. Which we love, right? Because there's, I love the Express features. That's why I think anybody, you know, we're, we're not, we're creatives. We're mm -hmm. not designers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But we can use Express in the same way that someone who is a designer can work Express into their workflow exactly. in so many different ways on teams like I'm expressing here is huge. So I'm gonna download it just because I might wanna style match it in the future um, as well, because I can style match my style match and just keep doing that again and again and again. Style match on style match on style match. <laughs> Hashtag style match on style match, there we go. <laughs> so I've downloaded that. Uh, likewise, I also have some favorites. Let me go back to my main menu. Wow, that was all AI. That, uh, yes, so everything. I believe, so this, the Firefly community page, okay. um, I haven't clicked on it, but let's take a look. It is, it is all just things generated. Hey, look, it's us. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's pretty meta. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it is all things generated by people in the Firefly community, which is wow, awesome. Oh, that is very so fun. Cool. <laughs> I honestly <laughs> had never used or seen it's Adobe Firefly world. until today. This is amazing. There is so much fun you can do with it. And, and again, as you can see the options, I'm just scratching the surface today. Oh my goodness, this is um, so exciting. Let's go to my favorites. And so again, I, I just saved that one. Okay. This is one I saved previously, but I, I like the one we just made even better than the one I had the other day. And this also accomplishes that variety of content that you kind of want to aim for yes. on social media. If you're, if you're marketing across platforms, these are the little changes and mix-ups that just make every platform unique. Yeah. And it looks like you've got a team of maybe 10 people back there working on things yes. when in fact it's always one or two yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> wearing many hats like we wearing said wearing many many hats uh, Linton mentioning they love the text effects in Firefly yes. I really do too oh I can't um, wait to get you to you can that. get to those which is by you add your text and you can go ahead and there's so many different things right here text effects Show just us. like I did I can I can type in I'm not going to be using this one today but like okay. you can add like how like tight the effect is how loose it is I've seen one where someone made text that was like cat fur, right? And you can make I it like, <laughs> you can make it like loose cat fur. It's kind of flowing everywhere. Oh, how interesting. There's so many presets as well. Again, I could I could talk about this for days. See, I got you on mobile. <laughs> You're about to get me on desktop. Yeah, to there get we all go. This. <laughs> we both got something to explore. This um, is incredible. So I have the your stuff. I'm going to go ahead. Um, I do like the design I created beforehand, mm -hmm. right? So the reference, um, we're going to work with this. And I'm going to pop my avatar back in there. I'm going to get VJ's avatar. And again, this is preloaded into our brand in Adobe Express. I have many that I've worked with and they're all there, which is awesome. I haven't done this, but you can even create your own templates. This is such a time saver, you mm -hmm. all, is to have to constantly go back and upload the brand elements that you're using over and over and over again. You, cut, you can just cut the time out and just have it preloaded oh, yeah. into your Adobe Premium brand. The really cool thing that, again, um, the last time I was here in San Francisco uh, from this very studio, mm -hmm. I, uh, I showed this, this feature. Um, this, this icon in the corner, I know it's kind of probably small to see. The uh, link and, icon? Yeah, the little link, that means it's a linked asset and it says right here, linked asset. Love it. That means that if, you know, VJ creates this in Photoshop and it's linked, if he is at his computer and I say, hey, I need you to be wearing a blue shirt, right? He's the Photoshop guru. I don't mm -hmm. know how to do that. But <laughs> he can go and just change the shirt to blue. Nice. And it'll save it. change. It'll here. tell me, hey, there's an update. Do you want to allow it? And his shirt will turn blue because it's a linked asset. So that just shows the pipeline and the workflow between Express and the other Adobe tools. Collaboration, people. Oh, yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. We got us similar to what we looked at before. And I'm going to work a little quick just to get us up to speed applying the Duotone effects. So we'll get that looking nice just so we can do that. 
but I'm going to show how I can use some other features of Firefly. Mm -hmm. um, because what I want now, I almost view this as like the docking station, this here in the background. It's almost remi it's reminded me of Starburst candy right yeah, now, or Skittles. Does. Maybe Skittles. Those are the colors. Take the <laughs> rainbow. I want this to be like the disc player, right? Yes. The platform. And I want a floating retro video game CD in the middle. And I'm going to make it vision, spin. Man. Okay. You got vision. And you can see I already have one here, but I'm going to show how I created it yeah. because it's in our brand kit, but um, it's also very easy to create in Firefly. And there's some other elements we're going to use. There is, there is the one I created, but let me show you how I made it and got to that point. You can see I have a lot of fun stuff I've been working with. Go back to Firefly. Um, I like the 16 bit prompt. I find when it comes to your prompts, um, when you find some language or terminology that really works for you, mm -hmm. stick with it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And write them down. I have I have them written down right here. If you see me glancing down to the left, <laughs> I'm the same way about hashtags. Once I've discovered yeah. them, I keep I keep what I call a hashtag bank. And I know mm -hmm. um, I think you also work with Later Media yes, as well. Yeah. And yep. I think in their program, they have a place where you can store your hashtags, and they'll tell you which ones perform the best. Yes. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> you really don't. Keep it stored. So what I'm doing is I'm generating a video game disc. That's very similar to my last prompt. So you can see it's got, it's kind of generating what I had before. Yeah. I want something more like number three. I think number three is great. Okay. But it's almost too detailed. I love the detail in the image and mm -hmm. the background that we have here. I want a little bit more pixelation on the actual element because I want it to feel like it's from the video game. So I'm going to go ahead and do some style match again. And um, one of my favorite images that we have, our favorite icons, it might be kind of difficult to see them. There he is. There's my our little pixel dog pal. And oh I gosh. love this. I need to give this thing a name and make it the mascot you of our do. podcast. You do. You really do. <laughs> but I, I love the rainbow effect, like, streaking behind it. Um, it feels very, like, space dog. It feels a little Lisa Frank to me. That's my reference. Guys, okay. what should he name the dog? Yeah. Can we get some, uh, can we get some dog name yeah, ideas in here? I love that. Let's get it. This would be a great story for the origin of this dog's name. <laughs> and I'm going to use the dog as the reference because I don't I don't want as much noise because this is just going to be a floating element. Totally. It's a design element. The dog's so, not ending up yeah. in it, but he's going to be the inspiration. Mm -hmm. So that style, the clean background, um, blank mm -hmm. background, I should say, is what I'm looking to generate. So I'm style matching that now, too. Yes. And let's see what it comes up with. This the, For this one, I just did square. I kept it as square because I'm okay just using it. Yeah. Um, and there, that's exactly what I wanted, right? I can play oh around with the visual gosh. intensity a little bit. Um, let's it's see what so we get. It's so smart. Cody Bear said it does look like Lisa Frank, see? Oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. Maybe the dog should be named Lisa. Hmm, interesting. Or Frank. <laughs> so let's see what we get. And, and so I reduced the visual intensity a little bit, right? Let's see. And now I can use these elements to really just um, download one. I'm going to go ahead. What do you like in the chat? One, two, three, four. What do we got? <laughs> I think for your purposes, I'm going to try to guess which one you like. Wait, Pixlix? <laughs> Is that the dog name? Yes. <laughs> Does he have a tongue sticking out? That's oh, funny. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it doesn't. But no, still, it if it was... Pal. Once you animate him and bring him to life. Yeah, exactly. I can give him a cool power up streak. Uh, which one do you? Which one do you think I like? I think you either like the most extreme or the least extreme. Yeah. It's either one or four. <laughs> You're right. It is both of those. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, let me let me take a look. Let's look at what okay. we're dealing with here. Clever Devlin likes one. Cody Bear likes two. And mm. yeah, we could test and see which one. Linton likes four. One. Okay. I. One is the cleanest to me, and I love how it's like right. mosaic tiles. Going but you on didn't here. want it so clean. But though. I did say I didn't want clean, so mm -hmm. I like four. Four for that purpose. There you go. Um, two's good. I just don't like this little these lines here, but that's why I love that they give options. Yeah. And I'm sure pixel art is probably very difficult for Firefly to generate. Robert said one and four. See, Let's go. same page. Same so page. I'm gonna go ahead and download um, again. Let's download that. And something I like to just re remind myself to do often. Here's a previous one I generated. Uh -huh. Um, just in preparation for this. I like that one too. Um, but we're using the one we get live. Yep. We're going to use that one. We want to show love to that one. Mm, even I though, know what you're about to do. But that one's saved in my brand kit. I can save this new one in my brand kit. It's so easy <laughs> to just be graphics and to add something. <laughs> Linton won. Yes, he did. won. Yes. So I'm going to drag that in here. Roll when it's here. And again. Ruben said four. Yes, yes, yes. We're all in agreement. Four. Taste. You all have taste. <laughs> I got to go with my favorite. My favorite Adobe Express tool is remove background. It's the best Just thing since sliced bread. Again, again, it really is. And there it is. 
So I want this. That. I want the disc to look like it's like hovering above the disc player. I want it to be the focal point. So maybe I'm gonna move VJ and I down a little bit. Can we also talk about real quick how with the remove background option on desktop, if it removes too much of the background or too little, you have the option to also mm. edit it on your own. You can go back, there's the erase, there's generative fill. Exactly, like, you can tell it, ah, you went a little too far, and you can clean it up yourself, which I love. And the fact these are all in Adobe Express, like like again, huge disclaimer, like I said, I'm using Firefly, um, and I'm, I'm getting the style match feature from Firefly. But you're up bringing and, these elements mm -hmm. right to Express, getting to move them how you feel. And I, I could, and, and I'll show some fun stuff later, uh, not just using uh, Firefly Image 2. I'm going to use text to image and use, um, use it directly in Adobe Express. Yes. And you get some different stuff too. I'm learning so much today, are you all? <laughs> so this disc we're going to put here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish the design really quick, and then we're going to do all the animation at once, because yeah. I'm, I'm feeling myself just get too excited for the animation. <laughs> it's really and exciting. And I'm going I'm to miss what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, what I love to do actually is because this is blended, yep. and I taught myself this earlier today, but I probably should have known to do this a long time ago. What I would always do is um, I would add like a black square and make it like transparent to make elements like show up. Mm -hmm. I would do this, and then I would stretch it. Yeah. And this has been again. I'm not a designer. Oh, how here. interesting! <laughs> I would, and then I would make it like a little bit, reduce the opacity a bit. And oh, then, that's a fun little workaround trick. But I, I have a faster one, is what I'm saying. Show so I would, I would do this so that like everything's highlighted in the frame. I don't want the background to be too overwhelming. Wow. Um, but this is something that I do. Again, I'm sure there's a lot like the designers out there. Ruben, you probably know. You're probably like, why is he doing it that way? There's so many better ways to well, do it. There's a lot of things. That's why I love that <laughs> Express. Like we're not designers. Right. Like, we don't know the fancy tools and the best, most optimal way to do things. But we just got to get it done sometimes. Yeah. And being part of this community is about sharing and. Um, yeah, sharing these hacks and these yeah, tricks, right? Yeah, everyone's got their tricks. And I could lock the layer so it's not getting in the way. I nice. can lock it, unlock it. What I what I actually just discovered last night is what I'm going to do is make the background just dark. And I know you can't see it because it's an image, but now if I just directly change the brightness on the the opacity of the image, Boom. the background's coming through. So that's what I do now. It's one less step. Um, but it works. Fun little trick for you. Yeah, however you get there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lock the background. Uh, let's see, do we like that? That's probably... I want, to, I want to find the medium between like too dark or you can't yeah, see Yeah, because you still want to see all that beautiful yeah. artwork in the background. How's that look to you? I like Down it. There, 50, yeah. So I'll lock that. You can see the title a bit more. That's coming through. And this is so cool. I want to add a nice, I'm trying to be conscious of spacing. You reminded me of that. Exactly. I think Let the design breathe. The biggest thing I had to learn was to respect spacing in the design and let it yeah let it breathe let it breathe robert says it's an illustrator trick also oh okay and to do it that same way or different um we're learning a lot about illustrators today, aren't we? we? Learn, i learned <laughs> i learned so much about adobe illustrator this week it's really exciting so what i want is a big play button like a big uh, button for people to press that says like new episode now yes let's say new episode remember i mentioned earlier i am you got your typo podcast. city. I'm gonna have a. You type that perfectly. I know. I'm and I'm I'm surprised <laughs> have a I did. Faith in yourself. <laughs> when I'm at home, I have like the Bluetooth keyboard, and my Bluetooth keyboard's terrible. It like doesn't register the oh pacing, so I always do typos. But this one on my MacBook is good. Linton says, "I love how quote simple graphics like these are, and people like my mom still make <laughs> invitations in Word. I know she'll get there." My coworkers again. I'm a former elementary school teacher. Um, just left two weeks ago to be a full-time content creator, but um, oh, yeah. Um, but my my teaching partner, she's amazing, best teaching partner I'll ever work with. But she still uses like Word and stuff for everything, and like mm -hmm. to add images and make brochures. And you add something, and you just see like the text jump across oh the screen. Oh my god, <laughs> those days they're Ruben, over. Ruben made a really good point in the What's chat. What's he saying? It's all about your process and how you tackle things. Amen. That is the beauty of being a creative. Two plus two equals four, as well <laughs> as three plus one equals four. That's a really, really great That's point. That's a poster right there. That really is. <laughs> Robert says the same way. Robert says the same way to do I that illustrator it. trick. Oh, okay. Um, so another another quick short short cut that I've learned is I used to then when I want this to be a button I would go into um, I would go into my elements I would go to shapes and I would get this like curved rectangle right. and add it behind we don't have to do that anymore what, which is really cool what can we do now we're gonna just go to our shape for our text and this one right here there's so many options gives me the right color um, mm -hmm. I can 
change how big it is. I obviously don't need that. I love that. Right? I can make it see-through if I really want. I love these features. Change the color to this nice retro bright pink we're using for our video game power-ups here. It looks so good. Pink is my favorite <laughs> color, so this is just awesome. appealing to my soul. Yeah, I was making this brand kit. And I actually, uh, the tip you shared, um, when I was making, um, setting up this brand, mm -hmm. he didn't add, he added the graphics, but I had to do the colors. Mm -hmm. I just used the dropper. Like on our pre-existing stuff, I used the dropper here. Easy, um, easy. I went back to graphic one and I just like. You programmed in. Use the dropper. Oh, there's the pink I want. There's your color. And I'm not going to add another pink to it, but yeah, it's so good. Oh, then that's so, so really good because yeah. um, we're talking about brand development. Like keeping your colors consistent, just keeping yes. every element consistent is a really good way to establish your brand for a new audience. So I'm going to have, so now I have this nice text box here that it's not two elements, it's just a shape around it. Um, it's there where I need it. And you know what? I think we are good to add some fun animations. Let's so do it. let's I'm go ready. ahead and make we're this ready. pop on the ready? feed. Um, what I want first and foremost, I want some elements to really just, again, grab people's attention. And movement does that, right? Mm -hmm. Someone who's swiping, they're in control of the movement. But if you put the animation, you're, you're controlling the movement, exactly. right? Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and, or I also heard too on that note, people are just sitting or laying down on the couch or on the bus when they're swiping social media. They don't have movement in their life, right? I'm not on a treadmill or running, swiping social media. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably be more productive if I did. <laughs> <laughs> and a little, more, a little more dangerous. Right. And let's see, uh, Linton suggested that we can maybe add a little bit more space to yeah, it. Yeah, he says, can you change so can the margin ahead. of the text that the text has a bit more space from mm -hmm. the end of the box? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. It's not as tight. Exactly. Um, and what I want with this is I'm going to animate it now. And I want, actually, I'm, I don't want that yet. I want the elements popping in. So let's go ahead. And what we want, everything that's going to pop in as soon as they see it is going to be, I got me, VJ, I got our power up shadows here. And I want the title. I want all of that. I'm going to use an in animation. There's in, looping, and out. And love I'm going to use all three here in this. Crazy. So I'm going to use in, and I love pop is my favorite animation in Adobe Oh, yeah. Express. I just oh, love yeah. it. Popping in, bright and vibrant in your face. So this. there we go. We got pop. Um, again, you can have the intensity change. I actually fairly like this one. Let's see. That's a happy I like that one. Desktop. This is so cool. It doesn't like really get out of the margins. I could reduce. If I'm finding that the intensity is too much where VJ's yeah. feet are popping out, I could reduce that a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So we got that. It looks so cool. There's one animation. Um, this button I don't want popping in. I want it like flickering. Like tap here, select here, Yeah, right? give it a little extra, and that's very <laughs> video gamey. Oh, look, uh, Clever is saying, Clever Devlin is saying, I placed a quarter down in the cabinet for next play, like it's an old jukebox. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love, so that's the feeling I'm looking for. It. Thank you. You get the vision. It feels like a jukebox, just playing the tunes, playing the podcast. Um, so we're going to animate the new uh, episode button with just a looping, I don't want it to pop in, I want it to just be blinking, um, and just there, that. and just kind of, our flickering is pretty good too, it's nice. It'll do a few, uh, uh, kind of staggered, mm -hmm. like the video game is old and going out of- Exactly, but needs, we love that, we love it. <laughs> you need to take the video game cartridge out, blow into it so it works. It gives <laughs> with Super nostalgia. Nintendo. I mean, this is obviously gonna be, tar like this targets such a mm -hmm. specific audience that has a core memory yes. of this style and this video game. This is brilliant. Which I think kids are losing these days. <laughs> I know, but you know what? Kids these days. <laughs> I went through a Roblox moment um, oh. during the pandemic because my nephew was on Roblox a lot mm. and I was trying to like you know still oh, hang yes. out with him and I noticed that a lot of those video games they were giving like 80s because it's, it's a developer app right and so yeah. it it was interesting how it's kind of making it made its way back the I think, style's full circle yeah right? it all comes full circle everything comes back into style eventually they're always inspired yep Linton says I love how those settings are all changeable yes. isn't that the best and I've, I've saved my favorite animation so here's what we're looking at right now um we pop in, but uh, it's missing some key motion that I want to make the you focal point. You wanted that point. CD to move. I want that CD to move. We're gonna make it spin, and baby. And I love how easy this is. I'm gonna have the CD selected. I'm gonna go to animation. I want this looping, because it's just going and going. Yes. Looping just means for the duration of the video file, how long it's gonna be playing, it'll just do it. It doesn't have like a, like the pop will just intro pop, and, and then stay. it'll play. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll stay. Um, but the loop, I just want going and going and going. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin, there it is already. There's our CD playing. Um, this is like too cool. I can change the direction of the spin. I can like have it. I like the soft, like steady pacing, but I can change that. I can literally look how fast it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. 
just you guys, give like, everybody a headache on my feed. I was here in the beginning <laughs> days of this app, and so to see how far it has come, and it's still going, mm -hmm. shout out the Adobe Express team. Y'all are doing it. I see you. I see you. Oh, and like we said, more to come with the animations, more, more to come with everything. This is not it, people. I always love getting like hearing the updates of what's coming. So that's what I, I want. Um, I don't know if I'm on music, and I don't want to blast through people's speakers, but something that you could do that's a lot of fun. Um, oh, you can add audio. Is that you can add audio, and I think I just type in. Oh, and I'm sure yeah. they're all royalty. Like I'm you sure can it's, use them. Yeah, all free for social media. So Space Game Arcade Loop, um, that's the one I would use. Um, I don't know if it's connected, but I also don't want to blast into the live stream. Now I have a, a social media question mm -hmm. for you. This audio versus audio on social media. What are your so thoughts? That I find is, it really depends on what you're gonna do with the content. Mm -hmm. um, I like to use the Reels or TikTok audio where I can. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite content, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge video creator. I love my infographics, my single posts, like, which I'm gonna show one really soon, that's a lot of fun. Um, I like that style. So when I do video, it's more like a voiceover with like animated elements right. kind of style going on. And I like to use just like a simple instrumental track from Reels, from Instagram's library. Um, but I ran into some issues where I work with a lot of brands and brand partnerships. Exactly and if they ever want to like whitelist my content, meaning I put like, they use it as an ad on my behalf, mm -hmm. right? Um, or I boost it. Sometimes I offer like, I'm comfortable boosting my content. Tell me, tell me the budget you want behind it. Right. You can't do that when it's the Reels library. Oh, you right? can't. Yeah, because we don't own that music. Yes. So, so this is where. I've been able to boost content, no problem, um, with, with using this audio. Absolutely. And I think if you have a business page, especially on Instagram, you cannot use all that fun, right. good audio. And the options on Instagram, if it's not like the most popular music, mm -hmm. it's not great. So I love that this option is available mm -hmm. for you all. And um, homework for everybody, go in and look for Space Game Arcade Loop and listen to that later. Oh <laughs> uh, so some fun stuff I could do. I got this pretty much animated. It pops in. There we go. Um, something that I think we both love is how easy this it's to resize. This looks so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's fun. Um, let's make it a story, right? Because we it love a story. stories. Uh, let's oh, yeah, because you got to be like, that's going to look great on the feed and it's going to alert people that there is a new episode. But in your stories, which I think um, Instagram is now prioritizing stories a I'm bit more. I'm finding that for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where the people are hanging out at. <laughs> and so look at that quick resize. And I, I just have to make some slight variations, look at right? That. But it's all there exactly as I need. I'm going to make us, again, you mentioned knowing like the nuances of the platform or the, the mm -hmm. format, which mm -hmm. is. Mind the format. Instagram's amazing, but there is a lot to know about it. So. Learn There's it, tricks. learn what works, and use tricks like resizing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make us a little bit bigger. Love it. And what see I, I see how you're clearing up some space where I, I see where you're getting Yeah, what might go link. here? What could I put here? You're going to put the link. I could put my link sticker. Where people <laughs> can play it. So that would be right there. Listen on Spotify. Listen on Apple Music. Exactly. Like that. This is so cool. And you See, and you did all this without bothering VJ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> VJ who? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. He's, it's... You know, I remember there were some concerns about Spark or Express when mm. it first came out about it replacing designers. But I think what it does is it elevates design work and true designers can put their work in so that we as the creators and the small business yes. owners yep. can just replicate the work in a way that still honors what was done originally, but just changes it up so we can continue to use it. Yes. Because yeah. designers can be very expensive and they are worth every dime. Yes. Maybe absolutely. they are worth every single dime. But if you're a small business owner, you can't always afford to contract them every single time for every single every single, you know, promotion that you want to put out there. So I encourage people hire designers and get them to create templates for you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Be a part of the workflow with them, right? And I think exactly. I think that I'm, I'm assuming the designer also appreciates that too. I know VJ does when I'm not bugging him constantly. Absolutely. And someone mentioned in, in the last session um, the frustration of like having a client repeatedly come back and be like, can you change this one small thing? Change this one small thing. And then they liked the original to begin with. Oh my God. I don't yes. do that to him because I can say, hey, I think, what if it looks something like this? And then he goes, and, and I just wanted to highlight this feature as you were mentioning that. I'm not gonna put his email out there, but I can just click this. Oh, yeah. I can invite him to the document entirely. I and guess I'm gonna show some people's it. emails. But I can invite him there and I can type him in. Mm -hmm. He's he's sharing that with me. Exactly. And I can add comments. I can say, hey, what do you think <gasps> of the CD, right? So let's place a pin. Actually, Ruben, if Ruben's still in there in the chat, if you're Ruben and I did a, a collaboration okay. entirely in Adobe Express. Wow. Um, I'm gonna I can actually pop over to show it. I got you on my home here, Ruben. <sighs> this is so important, you guys. I worked with another um, platform that shall not be named, 
But when real time collaboration was not available like mm. this, we had like five variations of the same oh. designs going on. And the director of it all just had to like <laughs> lock everything in and be like, we cannot put these out there like this. So this project, Ruben is in the chat. He was, you can recognize profile picture there. Him and I created this together entirely in Express. I love it. And we didn't we didn't need to communicate outside of Express. Like we made this whole thing. We talked well, you and I talked about the post size of Instagram. Um, and again, he's he's the designer of the two of us. So we were able to give comments and leave and pin feedback about like, hey, can you add this? Can you do this? And it was just such a smooth process. And uh, that's on my profile right there. And it's it's posted with the collaboration feature, I which love is huge. It. So it's just so many tools. Um, I've resized it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go quick, and I think I can create a really fun single post. I'm gonna try you to do, do it, it in nine minutes. And you we're can gonna do see it. if we can do it. Hi, Michelle. We see you. So, so things I love is, um, like I said, I love single image graphics. I my whole Instagram account is mostly infographics. It's the it's the teacher in me. I love textbooks. They're such good infographics, you guys. Oh yeah. By the way, follow him. What's your Instagram? Uh, just the Lucas O'Keefe. And I'm at OMG. It's Courtney T. Follow us. Hang out with us. I love but I yours love... way better. I wish I, I, need, I need to. I have a boring the. Oh, because someone God. else had Lucas. But it's like the. No, nah, someone else had Lucas O'Keefe, and he tried to sell it to me once. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what what I've done is I've generated these in I've generated these in Firefly already. But just to save time, I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in um, because they're saved in my brand library. But you can see I do have them. I'm gonna use this one actually, so I want to keep that open. Here it is. I wanted like a nice video game trophy room. Because we're gonna we're gonna earn some prizes at the end of our quest. I see. Um, and we want to focus on that as like the 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 symbol here is or the message here in the content is let our podcast give you the creative rewards. And thank you for putting thank you Cody for putting our Instagrams in the chat. Thank you. That's my website, but oh, and then we, Instagram.com. We, <laughs> You'll find me. You'll find me. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my same trick here where I'm gonna I know I just made this lovely background in um, Firefly, but I am gonna hide it for a moment just to bring down the bring down the color here. Yes. Uh, the distraction, I should say. And what I want this single post to be, I love it's already picking up on my font that I've used in, God, the, in the graphic. Smart tools, very is, smart tools. I want it to be, choose your upgrade. Like choose, yeah. at the end of like a level in like RPGs, choose your creator. Oh, upgrade. I love that. Instead of choose your fighter, choose your creator. Yeah, you just finished the level. Now you get the prizes. What's what's here it. for you? So um, I'm gonna add an outline because I really feel like it adds to the like video game style of it. You can see it becoming a bit more vibrant, there a little bit go. more visible. It pops right there. Um, choose your creator upgrade, and now I want this to be like three upgrades that we can we can give. You can select your item as your loot. I already or your know reward. what you're about to do, and this is amazing. <laughs> I know so, I have the visual from the video games back in the yes. day. I know exactly what's getting ready to go down. So I have these trophy plinths that yes. are kind of like a choose what you would like. And I'm just gonna quickly copy and paste oh, so three of these super fast. And that trick I mentioned, I'm glad I did it with the opacity in the background because normally I would have to lock that. I'd be moving that square and selecting that square. So I love that I can do this without an extra step. Oh, Michelle says she was just popping in to say hi, but has to go already. Was working and lurking. I love <laughs> that you, phrase. Michelle. Working and lurking. Thank you for joining us. So I'm thinking, let's see. Let's move those. Working on that spacing. But again, VJ can come back and go to the drawing board on this. Mm -hmm. And the thing. Yeah, he's just going to come yeah. and refine the design. Make it his. The things I love our podcast to bring. I want to give. And the whole meaning of this post is going to be like a. Whatever you feel you need, whatever you can take from this podcast. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's maybe it's creativity as a content creator, right? Maybe that's what you want to take. Right. Maybe it is motivation. You yeah, want to we're just talking about motivation. Yeah. Overcome those creative blocks and obstacles. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is just gonna be inspiration, right? Something that's gonna that. push you to the next level. So we got these. I'm recognizing the spacing. I think I want to move this up a little bit. And there's those guides that we love or those lines that are helping yeah. us. And now I need, I'm going to quickly add in the elements that I need, the trophies, the prizes. And these are ones that I've generated. So I went in and I said, give me a video game style pixel paint bottle, All right? Because I want the, the, creation, the creativity reward to be like a potion bottle that like an RPG wizard might give you, right? Wait, Lynn's saying yeah. we get a fourth with the doggo. <laughs> we need to add the dog in the corner. We, we need to add the doggo. <laughs> we haven't named the dog, you guys. You know what? I think with the time, I think I could still do it. Let's... 
Let's add. Right. Um, you have five minutes. Oh, yeah, five That's minutes. That's what express is great for. Like, it's good to express yourself yes. with, but it's express because you can do it quickly. You can do it fast. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Linton gave me that suggestion, and I. I love it. I love the dog pal. So we got to make the dog pal. We're adding a fourth plinth here. We're adding the fourth. Thank you. And this you. one's going to be accountability. I think accountability as a creator is huge. Yes. Having a community, or that could also be community, right? Yeah. Partnership, yes. just having other people. sometimes you can feel like you're existing in a vacuum and mm -hmm. you forget that there's people who can support you and and go with you on that journey. And the dog's going to be my accountability our partner. Doggo. <laughs> so I'm going to remove the background from the dog. There we go. So again, super easy to just move everything. The dog can also be a linked asset. So VJ was in Photoshop there changing the colors. All right, there's the first prize. All right. That's what everyone's probably gonna take. I'm gonna add some more spacing. There we go. All right, we need creativity. Let's go ahead with our, there's all my fun stuff. I like this bottle. I like that one. That one's good, I can work with that. Let's download it. Oh, I already have it downloaded. Boom. Me doing my prep. Me doing my design you're, work. You're already, ahead. <laughs> you're already on top of it. And there that one is. Just showing how easy it is to bring. I do have it in my elements saved already. But, but it's so easy to bring them in. Just showing how easy it is. Oh, I just made it the background of my image. I want to remove the background, not nice. make it the background. Nice. And that's going to be my creativity bottle. <laughs> There's your potion. Uh, motivation. I like the idea of like, a sword, like a video game sword. That's nice, yes. Um, kind of over, defeat those, the the enemies, the obstacles in your way, I the bad it. guys. Very in theme. The goblins. Very, very on brand. I <laughs> love this. So I do have, um, I have some stuff that I, I've generated already. I don't know if we have time to generate. So That's what I'm going to do is pop over, because I did make the design earlier. There we go. There's some of the fun stuff we have. Maybe I didn't Ooh. share the sword, but that's just a rendition I did have. Let's play around quickly with text to image and see if we can make make a sword, because I did say we would do that. Let's say pixel style video game sword. And the anticipation is got some fun ones. Yes. This one's kind of cool. Oh, that is so cool. It reminds me of this old game I used to play called Fire Emblem. Oh, wow. It's almost like a sword and a shield in one, which I really like. So let's add that one there. That's a good one for motivation. Sword in the stone right there. We need inspiration. Inspiration can be a trophy. And I did save in my favorites earlier today. Yay. I saved a nice trophy. And I like, I like this one. So let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. And I love how favorites takes you back to the search, not just the individual. I say I favorited the image, but it takes me to the full search with all the options in case I end up missing one and being like, oh, I wish I hadn't clicked away from that. Was that the right IG? Yes, that is the right IG. Thank you, Robert, for dropping that in the chat. I appreciate it. And get some resizing fitted in there. Choose your upgrade. You've completed the quest. You've listened to our podcast. You got this. And there is a fun, savable infographic. Wait, can you make those like float a little bit? Like I feel like yeah. So like that so what I did, what I did, uh, what I wanted to do, is have like the power up aura upgrade on this too. But yeah. we can absolutely. What if we? Yeah. What? What about like something like uh, wiggling? Something pick that me, makes it me. feel like yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you're like or bobbing. Let's see. That that's I like that. One. I like that. I like that. Ooh. And that could be on the feed. That could be someone's toolkit. Um, in a single image post yeah, on Instagram. You are taking the gamification of social media <laughs> to another level. All right, well, we're fun just going to gonna wrap up now, I believe. Is there one more session after this one? Um, I think we are done. I think, I think we're done. We are done. We're hanging out all day. We're I done. think there's <laughs> one more live session office coming hours. after. Office hours. Yes, exactly. And thank you all so much for joining us. I hope this has been helpful. I'm so inspired. I'm about to go onto Adobe Firefly and create, create, create. This is amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed. Thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody in the audience. Thank you for joining us.